Hey guys, it's Whitney, your family practice PA. And today I am super excited about this video because we are gonna be talking about one of my favorite new medications. I've actually already had a video on it, but had a lot of interest in it. So I wanna do a second one, really breaking down what this medication does and the effects it can have and the way it can change a lot of our type two diabetics lives. So that medication is Manjaro. So Manjaro is a first of its kind. Um, medication. It has two enzymes that it affects. And really today's focus, I'm going to be actually switching to screen record in just a minute and breaking down the website, really showing what the studies have to say about it, the effects you can expect to have or possibly have. Not everything's guaranteed. And as always, please talk to your own personal medical provider. But if you have any questions about the stuff that we're going to discuss today, please leave it in the comment below. Um, really excited to break it down. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so as I was saying in the intro to the video, today we're going to spend time what, going through actually what the Manjaro website shows, what their studies show, and just break it down a little more visually for you guys. So like I was saying in my previous Manjaro video in the Lose the Weight Forever Part 2, the Manjaro is one of a kind. It's the only medication in, in its class and it is also affects the GLP-1 agonist as well as the GIP, which with that double enzyme in the stomach is what's making it more powerful than just the GLP-1 agonist, like what I've talked about before, Ozempic, Tru um, Trulicity, and um, Wagovi falls into that just like Ozempic. So it is a once a week shot that you give yourself in the stomach, just like Ozempic, just like semaglutide. But, like I said, it's working on two enzymes. And right now, unlike semaglutide, Manjaro is only approved for type 2 diabetes. It's not just a weight loss drug like semaglutide is with Wagovi. They are working currently to try to get that FDA approval, but as of right now, that is not the case. So, what was really amazing with Manjaro is, and I will get into it, is they went to a head-to-head -head study with Ozempic 1 milligram. So it was really cool to see exactly how much more powerful Manjaro can be. It's not for everybody, but it has the potential to be, and it is proven by the studies that the company did. So within this, 75%, three out of four people, reached an A1C under 7%. Now, what was really cool is that an average of that was 7.9 to 8.6. So people are getting 1 to 1.6% decrease in their A1C. So that's saying if they were at 8.6 A1C, now they're below 7. And that was at the 5 milligram, 10 milligram, and 15 milligram doses. What we'll see later on in the study results is that actually the 10 milligram and the 15 milligram doses had even more effect what so and that's the main goal we start at the 2.5 then we go up to 5 7.5 but our goal is to get to that 10 12.5 and 15 milligrams to get the most effect out of the medication now there are some risk and i'll come back and do a separate video on that but some of the if you have history of pancreatitis which is inflammation in the pancreas or kidney disease chronic kidney disease you do need to talk to your doctor in more detail about that so this is where we come down to, on average, people lost up to 25 pounds on this. And this is without a lot of uh, strenuous exercise, diet, all of these things. So this is more just the medication working, which is pretty incredible. So this was at, they lost an average of 12 pounds at the five milligrams, which is pretty early on. And that's really, really cool to see. And at the 15 milligrams, the 25 pounds. But what I've seen my patients that I've started them on is even be better results than this because they're making the lifestyle changes. But what's really cool is imagine you having the 12 pound loss at the five milligram dose and that gives you that encouragement, that motivation to keep going. And sometimes that's all we need is just that little bit of the results towards the beginning that push us to keep going further and further. So, um, 
coming down here, this is where it really starts to get into the Manjaro versus the Ozempic. So this is the Manjaro looking at the one milligram dose of Ozempic. And when these studies were done, that was the highest dose that Ozempic had been an FDA approved for diabetics. Now we have the two milligram dose, so it will be interesting to see how they are going to do further studies on that. But at that time, this was the highest dose that we had until early May 2022. So it was a 40-week study, which is a great length of time, and it looks at the different doses that Manjaro has versus the type, um, the one milligram Ozempic. And this is what I was talking about. At this 15 milligram dose, we had a 2.3% decrease in A1C. And that 0.4 from Ozempic is a huge difference. And this is at 40 weeks, so this is not even a full year. And so our goal is that that keeps going as we keep the medication. Manjaro, Ozempic, all of those do not have to be short-term drugs. They are safe to keep taking in our current concurrently being studied at these longer durations. So, but even the 10 milligram had the 2.2 and the 5 milligram had the 2. So you're getting, but as most of my diabetics know, my pre-diabetics, at least my patients, and I'll explain to you guys too, every 0.1 is a huge difference. So that's a really incredible result. Even the 1.9 for Ozempic, I love Ozempic, so I'm not saying anything. I'm just focusing on the Manjaro, but that's mostly because we're seeing more weight loss with the Manjaro than we are Ozempic, but it's still an incredible diabetes medication. I have a separate video on Ozempic. I have a demonstration for Ozempic, so you can always check that on my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see the new content always coming out on my channel. So, And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Always let me know if there's anything I can help you guys with. And then as always, make sure you talk to your own medical provider. This is just me providing information, trying to help you better understand your medications and the disease, but you always need to involve your personal medical provider. So, um, just getting back in here, the study was on the A1C of an average of 8.3, so we're trying to get below 7. Type 2 diabetes is considered controlled under 7. So, But it was just really cool to see these huge decreases, as you see, as you go up in these dosages. So even the 5 milligrams had a higher decrease of A1C percentage than the Ozempic. Um, Coming even more down into here, talking about the percentage of people that reached that 7% threshold of their A1C. So the Manjaro 5 milligrams was 82%, 86, 87, and then 79% on the Ozempic. So all these results are really, really cool to see. So it, like we we're talking about, is it the first and only approved treatment because it's going after those two um, enzymes that the stomach's producing. So it's GIP and the GLP-1 agonist. So they help you regulate your blood sugar, can help with that weight loss as well. And then just want to break these down. I talked about these in my other, my previous Manjaro video that you can see on my channel. But really what Manjaro is going after is the body is releasing more insulin when the blood sugar is high. So when glucose or sugar hits the bloodstream and it signals those high releases in the blood, the Manjaro helps in the body release more insulin to get it out of your help you excrete it so it takes it into the cells glucose is our number one fuel so we're taking that out into the cells and helping our body burn it up as fuel or get rid of it the second thing that manjaro does is like I was saying previously, is that it helps remove excess sugar, excess sugar from the blood. So we take it away from the blood into the cells. So really that's what the first thing these two slides are together. And then also it helps stop the liver from making and releasing too much sugar. So the liver, when we eat, can also produce the glucose as well as the pancreas can to the whole endocrine biliary tree is helping with that. So it also helps limit the sugar that the liver is producing. And then this is a lot where the, so this is, to me, this is more of the diabetes control right here. So you can better understand what it's actually doing for diabetes. And then this is where the weight loss, which in turn still helps the diabetes, but the focus of the weight loss. So reduce how much food is eaten because you feel fuller, quicker, and longer. You're not going to be consuming as many calories. 
which is huge for my type 2 diabetics because when they're hyperglycemic, which means their sugars are high, they they feel hungry. So the body wants to produce more insulin so it makes to get rid of that, so it actually makes you feel hunger. Well, this is already happening up here controlling the insulin levels, so this helps you not eat as much even if you're in those hyperglycemic states. And then it slows down how quickly food leaves the stomach. This is where we're talking about that it helps with making you feel uh, full longer because it almost slows gastric emptying. And like we said, this is where the dosage increase comes in to play. So it lessens over time. Um, so you we do increase that dose. And there is a limit to how much of the weight loss you're going to get because our body gets more accustomed to it. But we're still getting these effects from the diabetes control. So... Hope this helps you a little bit more fully understand Manjaro. Um, really, thank you for taking the time to watch it. It's an incredible drug. I've seen it in my practice as a family practice PA and really excited to be using it more as we get better and better coverage of it. Like I said, it is a newer medication. So from an insurance standpoint, we are getting plenty of samples, at least in my practice. So make sure you always talk to your um, medical provider about possibly getting samples as well okay so hope you really enjoyed that video really enjoyed the breakdown of it if you like these kind of videos where i go more in detail on the medication please leave it in the comments below really want these videos to for you guys to get the most out of it so just give me that feedback um, i'm going to be doing probably a medication series coming up looking at our most common medications with high blood pressure or cholesterol different things so you kind of know what these medications are. Sometimes we get these big names that we don't fully understand it. So be on the lookout for that series coming out. Make sure if you got anything out of this video, hit that like button and just keep following on. Hit that subscribe button for the channel. Gonna have more and more content coming out and can't wait to see you on the next video. Have a great day.